hello friends welcome to my channel once again in today's video we will learn how you can fix the problem with roblox game client which sometime gives you an error that is roblox game client has stopped working in order to fix this problem there are multiple troubleshooting steps we will start with cleaning your computer which will help to improve the performance of your computer also so i'll just minimize this and press windows and r key on the keyboard and in the run window you can type percent temp percent and press enter now press ctrl and a to select all these files and press shift and d to delete them and click yes and then click continue because it says uh, you'll need to provide admin permission to delete this folder or the content of this folder so put a check in the box and click continue so you will be able to delete most of the files but there will be few files you won't be able to delete so you can just skip them and close that temp folder you can also run disk cleanup so simply search in the box disk cleanup and open the disk cleanup app select the drive we want to clean the c drive so click ok after selecting the c drive you just wait for this to complete you can select everything here and click ok and then there will be a message to click on delete file so click on delete files so it will clean your computer and will it improve the performance of your computer okay and that is done now press and hold the windows key and push letter r once again type the location which i will give you in the description box or you can just type c colon and press enter go to user then double click on your username then double click on app data local and locate the roblox folder and open it now open the folder that says versions and delete everything you see in this version folder and then close this folder so we are done with the cleaning part now we will perform uh, the next step now we will be enabling the compatibility option so right click on your roblox icon and click on properties where you will get a roblox player property window in that window click on the compatibility tab put a check in the box run this program in compatibility mode for select windows 7 from here and put a check in the box run this program as administrator click apply and then click ok and then try to open the roblox player and it should resolve the problem in case the problem is still there you can try the third troubleshooting step and that will be updating your graphic drivers and in order to do that you can simply right click on windows icon at the bottom left corner 
if you are using Windows 10. And from the list, click on Device Manager. A Device Manager window will open up. Now expand the option that says Display Adapters. And you will see the graphic card installed in your computer. Simply right click on it and then click on Update Driver. Click on search automatically for drivers on the next window. So in my case, the best driver for my device is already installed. In your case, it may try to look for the new drivers. In case this utility is not working or uh, there is a problem, it is not updating your display driver from here you can go to the manufacturer's website also for example i'm using an nvidia geforce graphic card so i can go to nvidia website and download driver for my uh, display adapter from there you can close this device manager window and open your browser now go to the manufacturer of your display adapter in my case it is Nvidia now select the graphic card which you have in your computer if you want, you can open Device Manager once again and you will get the information about your display adapter. So it is NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti. Select your operating system and mine is game ready driver click on search and it will search for the drivers you can also check the version of graphic driver you have in your computer by right clicking and then click on properties go to driver tab and there will be the date and the driver version which is 31.0.15 36.23 so I have a driver update available, so I'll go ahead and click on download. And click on download again. It will start downloading a file that would be your driver update. Okay, so our file is downloaded and we can simply click it to run it. Click yes on user account control window. Now leave everything like that and click OK. Now click I agree and continue. Let's click on I agree and continue. We will leave express recommend which is recommended. So click on next. So it is installing the graphics driver now. Okay, so the installation has been completed. We'll click close. 
and now you can uh, just restart the computer once and try opening the roblox player and it should work fine So that's it in this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please click the like button if you like the video and subscribe to my channel. You have a great day. Bye-bye.